now we need to develop content and this is probably actually probably the one of the more difficult steps for someone uh, you know signing up for an email marketing software application is you know it's it's easy to to sign up that form and put in your credit card or to pick to pick one um, but it's what you load up into that system to send people that's really this is the process piece of the process that's really going to slow slow you down and 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 make it difficult for you to to continue to move forward you you run into this wall where you you might say uh, you might think to yourself okay what am I supposed to send to these people what is and and how often should I send it so one I'm going to create I'm going to show you two categories of different types of content that you can send and uh, the first category is prospect focused content so the an easy way to think of this is this is content that is more geared towards your prospect and this is probably actually the 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 type of content that most people don't think about sending and so it is it's the type of content that you're sending tips and information helpful information to your prospect so you might send them uh, tips on how to do something the best way how to make something work better how to make improvements um, how to solve common problems and so examples of what this content might look like is you might have an article uh, that you've either found out, out on the internet or you've written it yourself or a blog post on that has some helpful information uh, it could be a white paper it could be a video it could be an ebook but you can develop this content uh, or you can have this content developed and uh, you could either send the con the whole con piece of content through an email to a prospect uh, a, a more effective way to do it is to send uh, a preview of the content uh, or a promotion of the content that's available and in the email and then have the the pros the contact that you send it to click through the email to get to some sort of landing page or website to get the full piece of content uh, so you might you if you if you're thinking well okay that sounds okay or I kinda know what you're talking about there I but I don't really know how to get started um, the way to, that, that you can start to spend some time developing this content for yourself is uh, is you can start to look at the value and benefits that your products and service services offer let me give you an example so a uh, sales script or a, a sol software solution that my company provides uh, it helps it helps uh, sale it helps sales managers to shorten the amount of time it takes to train their salespeople so that's something I help I help to improve new salespeople onboarding so if I look at my solution I can identify that's a benefit that I offer well then I could develop content around that benefit so the content might not say how I help to and how my product helps to do that I might develop content around the import the impacts of decreasing new hire ramp up time so again I'm not saying we will do this for you I'm not saying we will do this by for you by doing it this way uh, I'm saying uh, here are some things you might want to think about with decreasing this or here are ways that you could consider decreasing this so look at the benefits that you offer you also might want to look at the problems that your your products help to resolve so let me give you another example uh, my my software may help a sales manager to decrease the turnover of their salespeople that's a big problem and so I could develop a blog post that says uh, that it's maybe around the costs associated with sales staff turnover so that blog is a derivative of a pain point that I help to fix and so the way that you can you arrive at those content topics is looking at the benefits and the problems that you help to fix and you could develop videos or, or content on that so 
but but the key is is that this category if you look the parentheses there where that says them this contents all about them so you it's it's really sort of value uh, it's 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 not salesy you're being an advisor you're being a helper by sending this type of information the other category is about you so this is product focused so this is more about me and some examples of the type of info so you could send you could create content and send this through emails uh, in your email drip campaign uh, a great way place to look are the FAQ the answers to frequently asked questions so if someone if if people are always asking you how long does it take to get set up then a great content piece might be the, the getting set up on our product and it's okay in this category to talk about you and to talk about your products um, common objection responses so you may be a common objection uh, that you hear is that it's too difficult to switch providers and so you could develop a piece of content around uh, the misconceptions of, of switching providers it's easier than you think uh, maybe talk about that you could have content that's focused on promotions uh, end of year discounts whatever uh, differentiation product updates uh, and announcements detailed product info you could develop content around your company so if you have some bragging points about your company some company facts uh, case studies about clients that you've helped so you know you could develop develop this content you could brainstorm uh, you know these areas and again develop either write-ups or emails or um, or whatnot stuff that either can be sent out in emails or uh, clips of bigger pieces of content that could again drive people back to your website but those are two categories and what you want to do is you want to fill up start creating content in those two categories and and you might either be bored with hearing about this topic right here or this might be I, I can guarantee I'm probably pretty sure you're not getting excited about this step because it's really difficult but it's critical uh, to email drip marketing if you're if you're gonna be dripping uh, emails over time to somebody there's gonna have to be some content behind that so it's 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 very important and um, and and just think about these two categories and when you keep those and then I would keep the content separate uh, and know which category if you produce a piece of content know that this is prospect focused or know keep be aware of its product focused um, still staying with the content piece uh, I just want to show you two different types of email formats that uh, you can use uh, the first is sort of a plain text one-to-one -one email this is just sort of a screenshot of one and if you notice that this is designed to be to be a one-to-one uh, -one, meaning I'm a salesperson and I'm sending this one email to you mr. Or mrs. prospect now you can use email software to actually deliver an email that looks this way to a thousand people at once and and use automation so it's really one to many but the format is one to one and what what I would encourage you to do it when you use this format uh, is to to really make it look like it's one to one one of your goals with uh, when you're sending prospecting emails you want to do what you can to avoid your email being deleted like immediately and you know a lot of people want to design their email so that it gets read and it gets acted upon well another way to go about it is let me design my email so that somebody doesn't look at it and in two seconds hit delete I mean if if we at least extend that to where they have to glance at it and and think about it I mean that's a huge improvement if you can at least go from a two second glance uh, and delete to where they have to look at it for 10 seconds and then and then they might delete it or are they still the, the they're, they're still a, a decent delete rate but you've at least gotten them to kind of look at it a little bit more closely you're gonna have a huge that's a huge improvement in my book and there are small things you can do to do to make that improvement um, and so what I what I encourage people to do is to to not use hyperlinks in uh, emails so which is like making text uh, in a sentence like uh, link to a certain web page 
I think it's okay for you to send links to web pages in your in your plain text email but when if I were to talk to someone I say okay I'm gonna send you an email right now with a, a couple things about what we said and then I type up an email I send them to him I typically don't make any of the email hyperlinks right that's something that you do when you're sending more of a one-to-many so you want the email to appear to be one-to-one -one because if it appears to be one-to-many then people can delete it uh, quicker think think about when you're checking mail uh, from in your ma in your mailbox your physical mailbox as soon as you see an envelope that has a bunch of uh, colors and images on the envelope you know that somebody did not send this to you personally so you can tear it up without even opening it or seeing who it's from almost but think about compare that to an envelope that has the address handwritten if a if an envelope has an address handwritten you're gonna look closely at it and you're gonna open it you're gonna see what the heck it is um, so make your emails look like a handwritten envelope and and so there's some small things you can do that this image right here on the screen is actually uh, an email template that's produced by Sales Scripter. So a shameless plug right here. Um, if you actually go through Sales Scripter, uh, and by the way, I was also talking about pain points that you help to fix, and value points and benefits that you offer. That's one of the things that Sales Scripter will do. Is it'll take you through a process to brainstorm and figure out all those points, and then what it does is it it provides you with these prospecting email one to one email templates that you could then use in your drip marketing. The other uh, type of template or email format that I want to show you is uh, an HTML format. And this is a, a one to many. So and this is actually one of our email templates that I, uh, that's the image here that we send and, and one similar that you might have received to it to sign up to to join this webinar. But this is more of a one it, it, it you're not hiding the fact you this is we're not trying to make the handwritten envelope with this email it's obvious that this is a email going out to a lot of people and um, and so we're not we're not ashamed by that and there are certain times when when we want to send this this type of format but this typically has you know images and and looks more professional and uh, it, it's it typically has more of a corporate coming from a company type of feel and um, I'll show you when you want might want to send either of those types of formats 